Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, today we will study the frequency modulation. Actually, here we will solve a problem on frequency modulation and we'll see various things about frequency modulation. I will also tell you what we mean by frequency modulation first. Then we will solve this problem and in this problem we will calculate various things like uh, as you can see on the screen modulating frequency we will calculate the modulating frequency from this given equation of fm that is this frequency modulation the carrier frequency modulation index maximum deviation and will also calculate the power dissipated by this fm wave in 10 ohm resistor so keep watching this video till the end your many doubts will be cleared about frequency modulation so what we mean by frequency modulation actually in a frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier wave is varied according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal modulating signal is what it is a message signal so in this problem i have a single tone fm fm means frequency modulation so a single tone fm single tone means if the message signal contains only a single frequency okay so a single tone fm is given by the voltage equation this is the equation of this fm wave 12 vt denotes the equation of fm it is voltage so it is vt so 12 cos of 6 into 10 to the power 8 t plus 5 sine 1250 t okay so i want to calculate these following things now let's see how we do this first of all what will i do i will convert this uh, equation given equation into a general format of fm modulated wave then i will compare that equation with this given equation and will calculate all these things let's see how to do this as we know that the general expression for the fm wave is given by this equation st is equals to st's fm modulated wave is a cos of omega ct plus kf integral 0 to t xt dt you learn this thing but it is very important uh, equation keep this in mind so a is what a is the maximum amplitude okay of this uh, modulated wave and omega c is what omega c is the carrier frequency kf is what kf is the proportionality constant and is also known as the frequency sensitivity frequency sensitivity of the modulator and xt is the message signal since uh, it can contain uh, various frequencies also but uh, as in our question it is a single tone uh, fm it means it is containing only one type of frequency not multiple frequencies now let the modulating signal xt is given by this this is a single tone modulating signal message signal having vm is the maximum amplitude and omega m is it the maximum frequency present in the modulated modulating signal it has only one frequency component it is a single tone message now here is the xt value i will put this xt at this place okay now let's do this st is equals to see this equation a cos of okay omega ct plus kf as it is now it is just the integration of xt here so what is the integration of this if i integrate this vm cos omega mt with respect to it is integrated with with respect to t so it will be vm sine of omega mt by omega m now see here that this part kf into vm kf is kf is what kf is the proportionality constant also known as frequency sensitivity kf into vm is nothing but the delta omega what is delta omega is the frequency deviation deviation of frequency okay so kf into vm can be replaced by delta omega so at this place i will write delta omega and in the denominator i have omega m so it is delta omega divided by omega m which can again be written as mf so this these three terms this one two and three will convert to mf okay i will write mf at this place so st is equals to a cos of omega ct this omega ct plus this part is mf and remaining uh, term is sine omega mt okay i think it's clear 
Now, I can easily compare it, compare this equation with the given equation. Our given equation in the question was this, okay? This was the equation given. So, let's write this equation again for comparison purpose. Vt is equals to 12 cos of this, okay? You see this. Now, we will compare these two equations and we'll find various things. Our first problem is to find the modulating frequency. Then we will find the carrier frequency in the second part. So modulating frequency and carrier frequency, how can we find it by comparison? Modulating frequency, you see, from this equation, modulating frequency is denoted by omega m. Okay, where is omega m in this equation? The omega m is present at this place, sine of omega m t. So you see here, sine of 1250 t. So omega m is 1250. Okay, so this is our omega m okay this is in this is omega it is uh, in radians per second and i also know that uh, what is omega omega is equals to 2 pi into frequency so f will be omega divided by 2 pi it will be in hertz frequency is in hertz so omega uh, f equals to omega by 2 pi so omega m 1250 divided by 2 pi is 199 hertz okay i got the modulating frequency now the carrier frequency carrier frequency is denoted by omega c just by observation you see comparison omega c where is omega c in this equation here is omega c so this term after cos before t okay this term 6 into 10 to the power 8 is the omega c into t so 6 into 10 to the power 8 is the omega c the carrier frequency in the same way, I can divide it by 2 pi to find the carrier frequency. It is in radian per second and it is in 95.5 megahertz. It is in hertz. Okay. The third thing is to find is modulation index. You see here, we want to calculate modulation index. And the fourth thing will be the maximum deviation. So modulation index and maximum deviation. Now see, mo uh, modulation index for FM is denoted by this mf modulation index m for frequency modulated wave so mf mf is just before the sign you see this is so 5 is simply the modulation index at this place so modulation index is 5 it's very simple and the maximum deviation now see that maximum deviation how to calculate maximum deviation actually the modulation index formula is delta omega by omega m we can find the modulation index by dividing the frequency deviation by the omega m, the maximum frequency component present in the modulating signal. So delta omega will be from this mf into omega m. Instead of delta omega, I can calculate uh, delta f also. And delta f will be mf same. And instead of omega m, I will use is here fm. Actually. Uh, uh, this can be easily converted to this by dividing both sides by 2 pi. So delta f is mf into fm. I know mf, mf is 5 and fm, fm is what? fm is 199 hertz. So 199 hertz. So 995. So this was the maximum deviation. Now the last thing that I want to calculate is the power dissipated by this fm wave in 10 ohm resistor okay dissipated power in the 10 ohm resistor how can i calculate it since the power dissipation the uh, standard formula for power is what vrms square divided by r okay vrms rms is root mean squared okay so vrms voltage uh, square divided by r and uh, formula for uh, VRMS is V max by root 2. If I have the maximum value of amplitude and I divide it by root 2, I will get the RMS value. So VRMS is V naught or V max by root 2 square divided by R. What is uh, V max? V max is from this equation. V max is this. Okay. 12 cos of. So it is 12. You see here also this. A cos of omega CT. At the place of A, I have 12. So maximum value of voltage is 12. So I will divide the 12 by root 2 and I will get the VRMS. So it's a square divided by R. R is I want to uh, calculate it in uh, 
10 ohm resistor so 10 10 is the value so on solving 72 by 10 it is 7.2 watts so this was all about this uh, video we learned and calculated various things like uh, how to calculate the modulation modulating frequency carrier frequency modulation index maximum deviation and power dissipated in a resistor in fm okay and learn how what is the general equation of uh, frequency modulated wave and what we mean by frequency modulation i think you must have liked the video uh, if you liked it please share and like it and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye